Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aquarius for the month of December. I am using the Gilded Tarot this month and also a card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels and a card from my Moonology uh, Oracle deck. Okay, so I want to remind everybody that this is a general reading. It is not meant for every Aquarius out there. If this reading resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't resonate, you can always purchase a private reading. I will leave my email at the bottom of the video. You can email me. Uh, I will send you a message back within 24 hours. And typically my readings are done in less than five days. Okay. Uh, a little bit about myself. I am a clairsentient and clairvoyant. As, and as a clairsentient, what that means, it's a heightened form of empathy. So I can feel past, present and future uh, when I do a reading. So I pick up emotions and feelings from somebody else, which means um, like uh, I, can, I can feel what they feel. Um, I can feel where they want to go with the situation. So the way I do it is I can, I, if I pick up anger, it's because they're angry. If I pick up love, it's because they're in love. If I pick up not wanting to commit, it's because they don't want to commit. It's called reading people. It's where I shine. It's where I do my best work. And I would say about 90% of the time, I'm, I'm pretty good at picking up people's energies. If you are looking for some feedback that I got, go to my community tab and you will see that I've posted um, uh, some feedback that I got from previous clients. And I've got a lot of client, clients that keep coming back to me over the years who I'm very grateful for. I don't have a website. All I have is a YouTube channel and um, an email address. And I've been pretty successful just with that. So I feel like if I set it, start up a website, uh, I just, I got to maintain that. I'm not that techie. So I have to say my tech support is my 18 year old son who seems to know a lot about this stuff. All right. So what I do is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I shuffle till the one card falls out. So for you Aquarians, uh, I am picking up, um, I just get a general energy of some sort of a disappointment that you've gone through. I feel like you're healing through something, like you're, you're going through some sort of a healing process. It could be with a love. Um, uh, I feel like, you know, you've been disappointed and you're just trying to get through this. We've all had a rough year, you know. And you guys are no different. Capricorns had it the worst, I feel. So it's been a rough, rough couple of years, you know. And uh, I just feel like there's some sort of a disappointment that you guys are trying to get through. All right. What is the message for Aquarius for the month of December? Messages for Aquarius for the month of December. Aquarius for the month of December. Aquarius. Okay. So there's the death card. I'll well, see, you know what? I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Aries had these two positions. Okay, Aquarius. She keeps coming up a lot too this month. I have not had the two of cups or the ace of cups. It's just, it seems to be repeating for the zodiac signs. The lovers has come up probably at a uh, eight out of 12 zodiac signs. Aquarius. 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 This has come up. I think that was for Sagittarius. A couple of other, oh no, that was, that was just for uh, Capricorn. Chariot. Six of Pentacles. What is the message for Aquarius? Six of Swords. Have strength. And we have the Eight of Wands. 
So I'm just going to make sure you guys can see all these cards. I have ordered. I've been telling the rest of the Zodiac signs that I've ordered um, this new arm that I just attached to the table. And I can do more of a top-down recording. And it can be a little further away. With my iPad, Like I just seem to be able to put all nine cards in there and no more than that. And I can barely even get these cards in here. So this top-down will be much, much better. You guys will be able to see the uh, bigger table. All right, there we go. Okay, so here we have, uh, I'm kind of looking at these cards and this, the Chariot represents uh, Cancer, Queen of Cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is Leo, um, this is Gemini. But I have more, I feel like it's more of a Cancer, it's a water sign person that you're dealing with. And here we have the Chariot. This card here talks about you want action and change. And I feel like you're the one who has to put the action and change into, you have to, you have to make this change. You have to put the effort forward. And these people are a little bit more slow going, the cancers or even the water sign people. So the chariot is about progress, victory, determination. You are determined to move forward and have victory regarding this situation. Okay. So this is you. You have to, you have to, you have to be the one who does this. There's that change, that change. Um, there has been the death card talks about big changes. It's ending, rebirth, letting go, moving on. It's like, I think you're trying to move on from this. There has been a change. You're let go. It's like a transition, a change in a situation. There is this transition and um, you're moving forward. Okay. You made that choice. It, this could have been a, a really strong bond with somebody, but you've made that choice. There is the lovers. And the lovers is also about um, uh, attraction, decisions, maturity. It's about growth. It is also about decisions. It's a decision to commit to a relationship or new venture with an open heart or to sacrifice an opportunity that cannot grow. I feel like this opportunity that you had cannot grow. So you have to move forward from it. I feel like you were um, nurturing, healing, supporting, but that was not enough for this person that you were dealing with. You want that new beginning. It's right beside the chariot. There's the fool. This is that fresh hope, taking chances. It's that new beginning. You want something that's going to be more stable and more balanced. You have the six of pentacles. This is somebody who's giving. I feel like you were not getting enough from the other person. And it's like you're kind of cutting ties and you're moving forward because you've had enough. So you're looking for this new opportunity here. Okay. Your six of swords again, moving forward after a time of stress. So six of swords speaks about um, safety, peace. You want peace. You're moving on. Okay. So it shows that it's a time to move on after a time of stress and conflict. It's from a stressful environment. This has been stressful for you. Okay. But this card is saying that, um, reassure, be reassured that order will return in your life. This is the confidence that you had to move forward. We have the strength card here. This is about taking control and it's self-loving confidence. You had the self-love to move forward. All right. There's new changes coming. Here's the eight of wands and the eight of wands talks about, um, changes, speed, action, quick changes, and some sort of a news is arriving. This is good news. Um, you have to start to move forward though from this situation. So the eight of wands speaks about news. It's about travel. You might be going to travel and it's the go card. It symbolizes opportunities to connect and to be inspired. It's about things being stuck and it's about a, an exciting time that's coming up. Okay. It's also talking about love news. So there might be some sort of a love news coming and traveling to see a partner. So you might be traveling to see somebody. You're the, this is also traveling. All right. So the chariot speaks about, um, 
Chariot is about change also, progress, victory, determination. This is about a journey. This is travel. Okay? You're going to get rewards. You are. All right? I feel like you're leaving something behind here that just was not progressing anymore. And there's that new change. You have, you have the courage to keep moving forward here. Okay? All right. I am going to see what the message is from the romance angels what is the message for aquarius what is the message for aquarius all right let your friends help you ask for ex and accept support from others all right so through this tough time it's telling you that accept support from others don't be strong don't be so um uh um you know a lot of people don't want to help ask for help or accept help because they look weak. This is saying that you have support around you. Let people help you get through this tough time. What is the message for Aquarius? Message for Aquarius. Message for Aquarius. All right. Believe in the impossible. There you go. Really great messages. All right, everybody, there you go. That is your reading. I really hope you enjoy it. And again, if you would like to purchase a private reading, email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video and I will get back to you within 24 hours. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. You'll know every time I post a video, I do celebrity readings, monthlies, dailies, uh, you name it. I've done it. And um, uh, share, subscribe, like, comment thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And I really hope you have a great month of December. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.